Watch up! That's right! I got my own talk show now! His name is Shepard Ferry. As one of the world's premier living artists, the mere mention of his iconic work strikes fear into the hearts of graphic artists everywhere. His obey clothing line has graced the breasts and asses of millions, and he's responsible for some of the most memorable images in the history of the universe. Shepard Berry, Grayson is got shot, salutes you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, Shepard Fairy. Great to have you on the Doors Church of Talk Show. How you doing? I'm busy, but always willing to give up time for something as important as this. Yes. Well, before we commence, I have a very important announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Banksy. Wow, Banksy, we've talked on the phone, but I've never seen you in person. Thank you for finally revealing your identity to the world. Yes, well, this has been subject to great speculation over the years, but now it is finally revealed. I am international art star Banksy, and all I have to say now is, are you happy now, Shepard Fairy? I'm happier. I'm tired of doing interviews on your behalf in Vogue and the Wall Street Journal and wherever else. Now you can do it yourself. Yeah, well, you know, it's come in handy over the years. Whenever police tried to investigate who was responsible for my public graffiti murals, they'd say, oh, look, it's a cat. Totally unaware it was me. That makes sense. It's a great cover, Banksy. Well, thank you, Shepard Ferry. But let's move on and talk about your latest installation in the Eiffel Tower called Earth Crisis. It's been described as a two-ton sphere that features images meant to provoke a conversation about climate change. So tell me, why did you decide to have this project way too touch? I guess that's just what it took to create a sphere that would withstand the wind. The weight of it literally wasn't nearly as important as the weight of it metaphorically. It was really about putting something there that would initiate a conversation about climate change to coincide with the COP21 Climate Change Summit. Now, I do want to say that I do think you did a very nice job here, Shepard Ferry. Kudos. Although, I do kind of wish it was low enough for me to swat at. It, <laughs> it's crazy. With the wind, it actually, as it was being elevated, it, it seemed like it was something you could swat. It looks very small, even though it's three stories high when it's in the Eiffel Tower. Okay, well, look, you know, I don't want to be overly critical, but Earth Crisis, you think maybe you went a little melodramatic with the title there? Well, one, I think um, we are facing a crisis because the temperature rise just in the last hundred years that can easily be attributed to human activity and carbon dioxide is a, it's a very short amount of time relative to the, uh, the life of the planet. So, no, I don't think it's melodramatic, but two, people love drama even though being didactic or uh, dogmatic is not always my most preferred route. Dogmatic? Are you aware of my philosophy when it comes to dogs? <laughs> no, what is it? Fuck dogs. <laughs> so, Shepard Ferry, for a while now, our artists has been pretty neck and neck. It's kind of been a tie for who reigns artistically supreme, but I think with my new project, I'm finally edging you out. Want to see? Yeah, I do. I want to see it. You know, I think it's a work of staggering ambition in its juxtaposition of cats, pop culture, uh, aspirations to achieve things for all mankind, humanity. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was going for. I haven't even been able to process it all yet. I'm going to need a few more hours. 
Now, Shepard Ferry, you are responsible for the scientific discovery that added the word hope beneath the picture of an individual who's gazing wishfully into the distance will guarantee them the presidency. Upon reflection, do you think it was wise to unleash a power of this magnitude upon mankind? I approached that project with the knowledge I had at the time. Obama seemed to be the antithesis of Bush. He was against the Iraq war. He wanted to push for universal health care, decreasing the power of lobbyists, respecting the planet. So adding hope to that image was really about what my hopes were. But I think that uh, that was a one shot deal. I actually disagree with you that that'll work for any candidate at this point. Well, I uh, hope you're wrong. Otherwise, my dreams of making this fire extinguisher our next president may never be realized. Now, Shepard Ferry, you first became known for these Andre the Giant has a posse stickers in Manhattan. Well, you know who else has a posse, Shepard Ferry? Hmm? Um, no. Who? Jesus. Jesus has a posse. Well, you know who else has a posse, CC? Who? Muhammad. Well, we gotta get going now, but since you're the big Archie Crash guy, Shepard Ferry, we thought it would be cool for you to rank these five pieces of Lord's Chosen Cat fan art from worst to best. Okay. So check it out, we got this drawing, this World of Warcraft thing, I'm totally crunked out here, orange eclipse or something behind me. Oh, um, don't know how that got in there, that's definitely not in the running. And, uh, me getting zapped by God through the internet. Okay, worst to best, go! This is subjective, so I'm just giving you my opinion. I like the eclipse, and, um... Uh, no, Shepard, we're going worst to best. Oh, worst to best, okay. Yeah, helps edition, doesn't it? Uh, worst, I'm going to say, is this one. You mean this one right here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Shepard Ferry, this guy, you know, he's got a wife and several young kids. To, to come at last, that's just going to humiliate the guy. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I, I yeah, think and that... I'm giving you my honest opinion. This guy lives in a crappy trailer home and works a dead-end job, and I'm not going to have you publicly disgrace him. Now pick another work of art. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we'll go with the worst is um, the the laptop clouds. Um. Oh, no, no, Shepard Fairy, whoa, listen. The woman who did this has horribly low self-esteem. She's never been able to hold on to a relationship. She's got strange daddy issues she'll probably never resolve. She's a woman on the brink. But if my, my job here is to give honest criticism, I'm really being hindered having to worry about Shep, everyone's feelings. Shepard Ferry, listen to me. I want you to be honest. I just don't want you to destroy lives in the process, you heartless bastard. Now pick something else. Okay, then... Thug life is the worst. Oh my god! This was made by a special needs child from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Shepard Ferry. His one wish was to have you look at his art before he dies. And now look at what you're doing! Well, I do feel bad about that. Of course you do. You're shitting all over his dreams, man! But the, the, the positioning of that crown just doesn't seem realistic at all. Shepard, your kid's got to croak any day now. It's a freaking miracle you could get it on my head to begin with. All right, we're going to call a five-way tie. I think they're all the best, so it's settled. Yay! Shepard Ferry thinks everybody's the best artist ever now. Shadowmites, we've had a great time here tonight. I'm the Lord's chosen cat, CC, and I want to thank Shepard Ferry. It's been a non-stop pleasure and a sheer sensation. Thank you. Thank you, CC. You're welcome. Good night. Rate, comment, subscribe, or you'll turn.